Um, I'd just like to say, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay. keep saying that, I'm going to walk this way. This is not cool. This is not cool at all. No. I, I, I just want to say I want to give a big shout out to um, all of the KY teams that are not here. I want to give a big shout out to Allison. Big shout out. I'd like to, to say, um, hi mom. <laughs> Me too, mom. I love you. <laughs> Um, yeah. Cut. <laughs> Kings New York's been around since 2003. We pretty much have been sending out a message. That's what Kings New York does. Kings do in general. Queens as well. The message is that you know hip hop is here. You know dance is here. It's not just necessarily hip hop, but um, that we are not going to just stand down in New York and say that, okay, what we do is old and we're going to throw it away. So I came out to the Kings of New York like uh, 2004, 2005, something like this. And I met Rue at Union Square right over here, just like, hey, can I get down? I like this, this song. So that's kind of how we became friends and uh, we just, you know, all just kind of started dancing, started coming to practices, learned to spell Kings of New York. Um, I'm a designer, so I helped out with like making flyers at first and then uh, we just started brainstorming and talking more about what we wanted this to be. Like I mean, Kings of New York is more than just Rue or just me, it's, you know, there's like a group of us. Like Knights of the Round Table, you know what I'm saying? You know, King Arthur, without all of his really loyal knights, he wouldn't have made it that far, you know what I mean? But I will tell you that we all became kings and queens at one point in time, we became leaders to lead other leaders. Off of that, I mean, it's community. What, I, what I'm hearing Rue say is like there's a sense of community, and and uh, you know, there's b-boy breakdance competitions all over the world. You know, it's it's global, it's international. Um, but the thing about Kings of New York that makes it really unique is, you know, we we give out awards, we recognize people in New York City, you know, that have really put in the time and and put in their heart and passion into this. All right, let me just cut that word out. <laughs> Side note, I keep saying shady and it's all this stuff. I'm going to it. Right, right. Anyway, so basically, my whole thing was that, was that in this situation, when I started throwing Kings in New York, I started getting death threats, which it, it went up. I didn't know that. Yeah. Are you it sure you want to be safe? <laughs> sure. I'm not going to So, you know what, edit out. <laughs> they will come up to you. Like, I was like, are you sure you want to be safe? Like, Let's go right now. Let's not start any unnecessary <laughs> He's like Christopher Walken. <laughs> Kings of New York right now. Anyway, so, uh, okay, what? So, I love Christopher Walken. <laughs> he was in that movie, so he was like killing uh, everybody. Okay. Anyway, yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> He's a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> so basically my whole thing was, you know, there's people who love me and there's people who hate me. And I've never understood about hate because I've always got love until I started going to New York. When I first started, I used to watch videos called Stop Elements. Whole one was, I mean, the guy that I looked up to and he's taking his crew from freestyle sessions, battle of the year to uh, UK championships and all over the world, you know? And he wasn't necessarily the best people. But he brought a certain sense of, you know what, I can be the best when I'm around you, you know? And when people feel that around one person, that basically tells you how powerful that person is, you know? Hang up, Rock? I don't know. I mean, I have yeah. to say. <laughs> I was waiting like, to say it. Okay. Uh, okay, well, his, I mean, I've seen him at practice, and he, he just has this kind of energy about him. Um, he's always kind of like telling a story with his, with his emotions. And, I mean, you don't find too many people that really do that. Yeah. Right now, what I'm building on is building on getting my own school and getting my own club for Kings of New York. Um, I feel that if I was to get a school here in New York, home-based school, you know, strictly for the street arts, um, of dancing, and other stuff later on, um, it will definitely heighten what we do here that has been uh, taken away from us by the government. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Flip a table, leave. <laughs> cool to me is confidence. So, you know, uh, cool is a fat gold chain. It makes me confident. Cool is, you know, my, my crazy blonde wig because it makes me feel, like, confident. Um, yeah. 
cool is cool is like morphs and changes. <laughs> this, this, this is cool. This is, this is cool. This is, that's cool. <laughs> now you do realize you're not wearing a blonde wig or a big gold chain, See? right? Did I say I'm, not, I'm not so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, hey, that was that was great though. That was that was like a whole. Yeah, that was, Wait, that squirrel was just about to suck some of that Dunkin' Donut just a minute ago. I'm sorry. He knows. He knows. Wait. What, <laughs> he knows the good stuff.